Humans have stripes. Well, I don't usually cover humans specifically, three things. One, stripes. Two, humans are technically animals. Three, cats. What do cats have to do with humans having stripes? Let me repeat the intro. Humans do have stripes. However, if you're a human watching this, sorry to assume if you're not, you likely can look down at your arm and not see any stripes. Unless you have one of the exceptions I'll go over later. While we can't see our stripes, we most certainly have them, as pointed out by various memes popping up on social media lately. However, Blashgo lines, as they are called, have been known about since roughly 1901. At least, that's when dermatologist Alfred Blashko gave the first demonstration of them. Blashko lines are lines of cell development on the human skin. They make a V pattern on the back, an S over your chest, and a wavy pattern on your head. These lines are typically invisible, but if you shine an intense UV light over your body, you might be able to see them. The other instance where you can see these lines is with skin conditions, such as the congenital skin conditions, which you can get at birth, acquired skin disorders, which you get at any point during your life, and genetic skin disorders, which are passed down from your parents at birth. Do note that the examples I gave are not all of the conditions that can cause these to appear. These are just some examples. Cats and dogs also have these lines. Cats in particular, however, can likely see these lines on humans. That's because cats' eyes can detect UV light, while humans cannot. It's not just cats, however. Dogs, rodents, bats, and many more animals have been found to detect UV light on varying scales. This was a recent discovery. Prior, it was believed no mammals could detect it. Insects like butterflies and bees have been known to see it for a long time, however. So why can't humans detect UV light? Well, that's because of necessity. Being able to detect UV light allows an animal to see things necessary for survival. For example, say there's a deer grazing in a snow-covered field. There is a white wolf stalking it, very, very quietly. The wolf pretty much blends in with the snow. However, to the deer's advantage, it can detect UV. The snow reflects back UV to the deer, while the wolf's fur does not. So the deer can determine that thing moving towards it is definitely not snow, and proceed to take off. However, the cons of seeing UV is often color blindness and blurry vision depending on the species. Humans' eyes develop to block out UV light, this allows us to see clearer and more detailed images, which is more useful for us. To conclude, humans have stripes that are only visible with a skin condition or for strong UV light, and cats might be able to see them. We are quite a weird species, aren't we? Thanks for watching, everybody, and take care.